My mother told me, she says, Ray, you'll have three strikes against you. You're female, you're black, at that time the terminology was Negro, and you'll have a Southern segregated school education. But you can do or be anything you want to be, but you've got to be educated and work hard. When I was about seven years old, this was during World War II, the United States captured a German Minotaur submarine off of the coast of the Carolinas, and they brought it to downtown Little Rock on tour. And my grandfather took me down to see it. And I looked through the periscope and saw the dials and mechanism, and I said, what do you have to know to do this? And the guy giving the spiel said, you'd have to be an engineer but you don't ever have to worry about that. Well, I didn't realize I'd been insulted. So that was my goal. I decided at seven I was going to become an engineer. And I remember when I was in eighth grade, I had a history teacher and kids were talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. And of course I said I wanted to become an engineer. They laughed at me because they thought I wanted to drive a train. Mrs. Holliday called me aside and she said, don't get upset about them laughing at you. Aim for the stars. At the very worst, you'll land on the moon. And the day after I graduated, I marched off to Washington, D.C. Fanned my resume around, and ironically enough, the Navy was the first group to call me in for an interview. And even with a college degree, they started me at the bottom of the ladder. On the UNIVAC-1, it was the first commercially available computer. I said, John, teach me to operate the computer. He said, no. If I teach you to operate the computer, you'd have my job. And I walked over to the computer, and I started to replicate what I had seen him doing. But anyway, he came out, and he stood there and watched me. And finally, he said, Ray, I didn't know you knew how to operate the computer. I said, I don't. He said, well, what are you doing? I said, well, I know how to do enough to get my job done. He said, fine. You know more than any of the rest of us. So from now on, this is your job. In 1971, President Nixon wanted a new ship designed. But instead of taking two years to do the rough draft, as had been the history of the Navy, he wanted the Navy to produce this in two months. The admirals gave me one month to do it. And I did it in 18 hours and 26 minutes. Remember, I was told, you can't, all the way. Well, that's an obstacle. You might have to drop back and create a challenging situation out of it and go a different direction. It might take you a little longer, but you can achieve and excel. I did. Mm -hmm.